step is down step, pivot step, not pivot step, pivot step, you're chewing gum. Well, I play the director choreographer, Zach, so I'm looking for a strong dancing chorus, people that look terrific together, but who can also work together well as a group. Talk about yourself. Talk about what? Tell me about the Bronx. What's to tell about the Bronx? It's uptown and to the right. They're trying to blend as much as possible, and then at the very moment they're put on the line with their headshots in front of them, they're asked not to blend and just to be themselves. And that's what gives the show uh, the edge. I don't want to wait on tables. And what I really don't want to do is teach other people how to do what I should be doing myself. She was a star. She decided to walk away and go to Hollywood to try TV acting and then realized what she was really missing. And what she was missing was dancing. <laughs> The dance is a journey, it's, it's a, a new expression, it's an emotion, it's opening up what you're feeling, it's, um, it's flirting with the mirror, it's flirting with all of the feelings that a dancer feels when we're performing. By doing something you don't like, I mean, you told me to be myself. Just tone it down. Tone what down? Your attitude. I play Sheila Bryant. Um, she knows what she's bringing to the table, but I think, and I know her insecurities are that not just that looks matter in this business, your age matters, and that she is aging out. Why could my dad wasn't ever a picnic, more like a common My hardest part is being still, because it's a cardiovascular workout. These movements that we do are so sharp and so exacting. Our choreographer, director extraordinaire, Mitzi Hamilton, is right. When it all happens, it really does look like magic. It's a gas, just a dash of silicone. My character is quite sassy. She depends on plastic surgery to get her her job. Mitzi Hamilton is the one who created it, and I feel so honored to be playing the role. And she's done such a great job with letting me personalize it for myself. Didn't cost a fortune either. Didn't hurt my sex life either. <laughs> my song is very fun. Dance 10 looks three. And I bounce around on stage. It's very, very playful. Can't wait for my father to come see the show. But it's a really, really fun moment. When did you start dancing, Paul? Not until very late. Why? I don't know why, I just did it. I play Paul San Marco. I also am the dance captain for the show. We're presenting the choreography as it was, but when it comes to the performance, I think that's when you have to give them something new. So, so in our acting, we have to show them uh, who we are, because that's the only way it's going to be genuine and, and interesting. Oh, God, I hope I get it. I hope I get it. I've come this far, but even so, it could be yes, it could be no. Oh, God, I hope I get it. I hope I get it. It just shows you what it means to pursue a dream. So anyone can relate to that. And when you come to the show, you get to see people literally doing that, putting themselves on the line for their dreams and for a job. And I think that's very relatable to everyone. I didn't want anybody call me Twinkle Toes just because I took a couple of dance lessons. Okay, you know what else? Mike. They're telling you some deep, dark secrets in this show. And then at the very end, you look at the line again, and you don't just see a line. You see hearts and souls. Once my legs done, nobody else.